Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to hashtag December Crafts 2022. So this is the last week of a crafting for this collab and it's not too late to join in. If you meant to uh, join in during the month of December and you never got to, please feel free to go ahead and post a video today. Uh, this is the collab where we are just doing uh, different things as far as they are pretty easy going and uh, not too complicated so if everyone's busy we can you know have something fun but easy to do the prompt this week is make something to represent your favorite thing or things from 2022 or your goals for 2023 so uh, let's see what am I doing I am going to share with you uh, let's see now I'm sharing sh shared it uh, I'm going to be sharing some of this in a flip through and in a uh, December kind of journal with me videos but I would like to tell you that I already did a little journal card here with my goals written down and I put it in this pocket which is the um, I made a little pocket here out of a piece of it was a card attached to a cake that we received at my work from someone. So, uh, oh, this is the last page. Yeah, this is the last page. So here's the back cover. But anyway, I put this card into that pocket. I made that pocket. And I also wrote down for the prompt this week, my favorite things. So I'm gonna, I was gonna go ahead and read them to you. So I, what I did was I, uh, during my last journal with me, I kind of went page by page. And so where do I need to fill in here? Cause I was just kind of, as December went, you know, went, and as I was journaling, I just picked out pages here and there, whatever I wanted to, you know, because I didn't have to go in any certain order because I was not doing a December daily, which I really loved. In the end, I'm going to tell you I really love that, and I'll probably do the same thing next year, do a December journal for December and Christmas and everything, but not a December daily. So, for this prompt... I used this little card. I had some things. I had some things, and I still have some things left that I tucked in here, and um, you know, we was using for whatever I needed to tag or something to decorate. I've been using these things that I had tucked in here. So I had this little card tucked in here, and I had already put a little uh, sticker. This is a little two from sticker over the. Someone actually had this, I think if I remember right, this was printed. Someone had their name printed <laughs> on there. And I found them at the thrift store, you know, but I wanted to cover up their name. So I put this little sticker there. So my favorites of 2022, I have number one, family get-togethers. Number two, lunch, lunch times with Riley. So Riley's my granddaughter. You know, I've been, get, um, I've been fortunate to be able to go on my lunch break once a week, I would go and play with her on my lunch break once a week. That was just a special special lunch break I had once a week for this past year. Or, um, you know, since she was able to, you know, kind of walk and play with me. <laughs> or I play with her or whatever. Um, but they're moving now. And there's further, it's closer to us where we live, but it's further away from my work. So I won't be able to go play with her on my lunch break anymore. But uh, that makes it, you know, kind of like even more special and it was one of my favorite things that I'll always remember during the um, this past year of her birth you know birth, after her birth I got to go and play with her just about every week on my lunch break this year and so I wrote that down and the third thing I wrote down was my new job I changed jobs in uh, August so it was kind of like the end of this year August September October, November, December, so the last quarter of this year, basically. But uh, it has been such a a gift. Like, <laughs> I don't know how, how to describe it, but I'm going to show you or read to you what I wrote here. A number three, and it's not necessarily number three, but it might be number three. I just wrote three things down here. But I wrote a lot about this to explain why this was one of my favorite hap you know, things that happened or favorite things of 2022. New job. I love my new job. The work I am doing now is so perfect for me. My new employer is the nicest person ever. The other people I work with are also so nice. It's like we've known each other forever. <laughs> Do you ever meet people like that or someone like that? It's like, like you feel like you knew them forever, but you just met them. Anyway, 
the three girls I work with have all lived in Florida. How did that happen? I'm from Florida. I'm from Florida. I was born and raised in Florida until I moved to North Carolina. And then I now I get a job here, uh, you know, whatever, 20 years later. And I am, end up working with three girls that either were from Florida or lived in Florida. And so they know we have all of that in common. And I put after that, uh, so we have so much in common. We are getting ready to move to a new space because our... We are growing. My the company I'm going to call it a company, or maybe I call it a firm. The firm I work for uh, is growing, and that is a good thing in these days. You know, some pe companies are closing, and some people are laying people off, and then some people can't get good workers, and they're always hiring. But my company is hiring, and they're growing, and they're moving into a bigger space. So that I also wrote next because of that because I feel so at home there and I'm working with people that are just my we're just my instant friends even my my, the, my main I'm going to call him my boss my employer they're all just so nice and I feel like they're all my friends and um, so you know because, and because we're growing that gives me job you know a feeling of security and I think women need usually women need that more than men they need that security in everything they do, including their job. <laughs> so uh, just because of all that, I wrote that down about my job because it's just such a good feeling to be able to go to a job you like every day and you enjoy and you know it's the kind of work. It, you know, it's always been the kind of work I like. I've done the kind of work I like. I've always done that type of work. But I, when I was changing jobs, I really kind of honed in on exactly pretty much exactly like 98 percent of exactly what I wanted to do when I changed if I changed jobs it would have to be the perfect job and this is it I can't you know it's like so unbelievable to me that I actually found it you know what I mean if that's I think that's pretty rare so anyway that's what I wrote down about for this week's prompt so uh, our prompt prompts prompt so I was going to go ahead and finish out my December daily here too. Because it kind of goes along with all this December stuff. And then I'll come back and do a quick flip through because I don't think I'll have time right now. But I pulled this little card out. It's just a little card that was in um, something. This is Family Circle. It's just a little piece of ephemera. And it's kind of pretty. It's a little card you mail in to get um, Illustrated Library of Cooking. It must have been one of those library you know recipe library of recipe cards that I picked up somewhere and this must have been in there so anyway I think it's really pretty I like the color I like the little food items around here and I'm just gonna see what happens I thought I'd glue it down here for a decoration so I want to put things on these two pages here I have some pictures from my Christmas day and from uh, let's see I have a, a couple of other things from Christmas that I would like to go ahead and add in I want to see now, right now, if I can get my pen in here and glue something down, uh, if I have any extra pages left, and I'm also going to count the pages real quick. So before you see the flip through, I'm going to have one more uh, of this little December journal. I'm going to have one more uh, journal with me, and then I will have the the final flip through. So, so I've got these two pages, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically seven pages, that's a lot. But to begin with, I only put, let me see how many pages I actually put in here. Because from the beginning I said, I think this will be plenty of pages, and I think I was right. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four five so I only put five papers in here and you know you fold them in half then you have ten then you count each side and you have twenty so like I didn't have a page for every day but I didn't I didn't need it so uh, first of all let's put let me see how many pictures I have and which ones are alike 
and I have a candy box here and some bows from the candy boxes that I got as a gift. Uh, some candy boxes and uh, let's see, so this is my brother. This is another picture of my Christmas tree. I don't want to throw it away, so I might as well put it in here. Uh, yeah, I think I want to put it here. Maybe I'll put it with my brother, my brother's picture. Let's see, this is a family picture. We always get together and take a family picture when we're, it's, it can be crazy. It doesn't have to be anything. It's not anything serious, but um, we take a family picture when we get together for Christmas every year on Christmas Day. Let's see, so these, I'm trying to figure out which ones can go together here. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see, these two can go together. Those two can go together. Let me flip the page. Oh, let's see. These two can go together. And so I'm going to have all those pages left. And then I have the family picture. Maybe I'll put that on the very last page here. Do something special with that page. And this one, let's see. Where are they? Let's put these two together. Sorry, I didn't I didn't organize this beforehand. And so these three can go on these two pages. And I'll have those two pages and I can put my candy here. So let me go ahead and put my little candy um, thingamabob here. This is a little box. I got a package with a lot. There is three times four. There are 12 of these little boxes of candies. And each little box was a three pieces of chocolate, like some type of chocolate light. Like one was cherry and one was vanilla and one was something else. And one was something else. Three were something else. So three of each kind. So I wanted to see if I could put this in here in some way. Let's grab my scissors. Grab my scissors. Yes, I'm so be sure to check out Susan's channel. This is my, you know, collab for December that Susan and I co-hosted together. And we have something cooked up for January and, and for 2023 to start off. So stay tuned because we have something really special going on. And I think you will enjoy it. And if you've never participated before, you might want to participate in this one because it's uh, perfect for everyone, I would say. <laughs> it's perfect for everyone. It really is. We really kind of uh, honed in on uh, something that everyone would like, I think. So that's a little bit too wide. Let's cut this off. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cut I'm going to cut that off so I'll fit on the page. I'm going to cut right here. There's a little crease. Let's go ahead and cut this off. <laughs> it's going to be a little pocket down here. And if I get any other cards or something, I can add it to this. Let's see if that'll fit. Still a little wide. It's going to be a little tuck spot. But this is just a little empty spot here. I'm going to cut up right next to this the, the, de the decoration there. There we go. That'll fit now. Yeah, that'll fit right there or right here. Oh, I'm going to put it on the on the music. That looks really pretty on the music. And since it's kind of card stocking, it's not exactly wanting to be. It's not exactly flat. Let me get this little piece of extra paper off there. I'm going to use my Fabri Tac and glue this down securely. So. Let's do that, and then we'll get these pictures down. And I'm going to try to use some of these papers here that I had tucked in. Because I, if I don't use them in here, I'm not going to leave them in here, you know what I mean? I'm going to take them out so I can use them for maybe next year's Christmas journal, December journal, or, or whatever, you know, December crafts. Because they're all Christmassy. Okay, so I've got that pocket down there. And these will go over here, combined with that pretty. And this already has pretty scrapbook paper here. So I'm just going to um, probably just glue these down. But that looks pretty, doesn't it? Let's round these corners right here real quick. And I've really enjoyed this journal with me. It didn't take, you know, I mean, this December type, non-daily December journal this year and uh, if you've never done a December journal or a December daily journal and you wanted to do one uh, this was really enjoyable and a good way to keep your December um, at any time really you could do this good way to keep your memories without 
you know, with only a few minutes here and there during the month. And I now I've got all of my my December, you know, memories now. So I really like that. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. Let's see. Let's even put I put that a little crooked, now I'm gonna put this a little crooked and just have a fun little spot there. Okay, this is my Christmas tree that I didn't want. I printed out an extra one by mistake, but I didn't want to throw it away. So let's see what I have here. I have an envelope, and I have this. This is a recipe card, which is very big. I pictured myself putting that in a pocket. I have, well, I guess I'll go ahead and use, actually maybe I won't use anything here. Yeah, I don't think I need another piece of paper. I'm just going to I'm going to just glue this or stick this down. So if you have any questions about anything I've used uh, in this journal, just let me know. I, uh, you know, pretty simple elements and just things I already have, and I didn't buy anything special really. Everything, uh, scrapbook paper I bought, you know, a few years ago, <laughs> so I just had it here. And the other things are just pages from books and, you know, things like that that I picked up at thrift stores. Now I already put this pink paper down, so I don't want to, uh, let me put this right in the middle. I want to keep my little elements around the outside if I can, so this is uh, my son and his girlfriend. Let's put that in the middle. My son is trying to open a present there, but it was a puzzle. My other son printed, 3D printed a treasure chest, which is a puzzle. And you have to figure out the magic combination to get it open. <laughs> so that's what my son's doing right there. Uh, and so then this is my, uh, his girlfriend uh, feeding cheese doodles to my granddaughter. <laughs> it was very cute. So I took a picture of that. I'm going to go ahead and put it down here, I guess. Let me see. I think if I want to make this smaller in any way, I think it's fine though. I'm just going to put it right there. And then you can see the pink there. Let's put a little decoration up here. So I have, I have, okay, where did it go? I had, <laughs> I had a decoration here. Where did it go? Oh my word. Okay, let me get rid of all these sticky papers. Well, I have a couple of other decorations. I can use these. This. Well, that's weird. Hold on. Let me look behind me. Nope, it's not back there. Well, I guess I'll find it later. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is from um, this is from this. My um, employer's wife gave us a goodie bag, and this was on a little packet of th you know ingredients to make dip, like a chip dip. And this was, little tag was on there. I thought it was so cute. And this little piece, and she got it from somebody on Etsy. And this little piece of tool was on here, on the package. So I thought I would put this somewhere. So this could go right up here. Although it looks kind of plain there now that, that I put it there. You can't really see it. Maybe I'll put it, I want to put something, maybe I'll put this whole tag up there. I think I will because it really needs something up there. Okay. Let's do that. Unless I put one of these up there. Hold on. I'm going to put that on another page. These are from the candy boxes. Each one has a little bow on the top. They're really cute little boxes. Yeah, let's do that. I like that there. So let's glue that there. Perfect little something to put there, right? Okay, so we're going to let's see. try to make sure it's not coming apart. It's not. It's fine. There we go. Now we have a pretty little bow. It'll get flattened between the pages, but that's fine. I just want to make sure it's glued and going to stay there. So I'm just going to let it grab for a second there. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? So I finished that page. Now, this page, where I have three more photos. So I have that, this right here, and this really needs something over here. So, and what else do I have in that envelope? But the envelope doesn't have very much decoration on it. So, I think that's going to end up being next year. So, let's go ahead and glue this down with just some art glitter glue here. All right. 
It's got cardinals on it. This is from Jovi. She sent me that in her Christmas card. Those little pieces came in really handy. Thank you, Jovi, if you watch this. Um, those little pieces came in really handy. So, let's see. So, this is... Um, oh, this is uh, <laughs> my older son, his wife, and my granddaughter. They all dress up. They did it last year, too. They did it this year. They have these, like, one-piece pajamas, and... My da my daughter in law and my granddaughter theirs is matching in their one piece unicorn pajamas fuzzy pajamas, uh, so I wanted to make sure I got a picture of them together, so that I could see you you know and remember that they have one day when they might not wear those anymore I could see that they had matching pajamas you know what I mean <laughs> so really cute so I'm gonna put that one down there and then this is let's see. This is my older son, and this is all, both my sons and my husband, and my other my younger son's girlfriend, future daughter-in-law, hopefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up there. You know, I'm gonna put this one over here. I think this. Nope, nope. I think I'm gonna do this one. That way, I'll take up the whole page, and I could add a little bow if I want to. And then we'll see what else we do here. I do want to add something to the front cover, inside the front cover. Let's just put this one up here. I might go back and, let's see, make little notes here. Like, this is my brother's family. One of my brothers, I have two brothers. This is one of my brothers, and they were, they're on a cruise. They're on a Christmas cruise, but it's not Christmassy. It's, they're, it's 81 degrees, and they have shorts and t-shirts, and they sent me that on Christmas Day, and it was like freezing outside here. <laughs> At least it's not snowing, thank goodness. But uh, it was cold. And then, okay, so, so I'm going to write little notes on here, like where my brother was and his family and their names, and I'll write little pictures, you know, and, you know, the day it was Christmas Day, things like that. So I'll go back and make some notes here. And then this is, yeah, I already told you about that one. My older son has his one-piece fuzzy pajamas on. That <laughs> He's a pretty good-sized guy as far as tallness. And he looks like a football player. So uh, he could only find these um, pink pajamas <laughs> in his size. It's pretty funny. But, yeah, he can, he can pull it off. He pulled it off. He pulls it off pretty good, <laughs> I would say. So that's that. So that's all. Let me get rid of all my sticky papers now. So I don't know, don't know what I'm going to do here. I put the pocket there. And I've, so I've basically got one, two, three uh, and a half surfaces there. Here I thought I would just decorate this inside cover a little bit with this uh, little journaling card that I made. I don't know if I made it last year or what, but it's cut from a greeting Christmas greeting card where I just you know was repurposing greeting cards I did some messy stitching around it backed it onto some kind of oh this was a file folder that wasn't a time card but it says time on it but this is a file folder that had some printing on it as far as from the business that it came from type of thing so I'm going to glue this down as a little decoration here inside my front cover and I think it's really cute. I've got some tatting up here. So this is going to go right here. So it doesn't look so... It's pretty, but it looks kind of plain, right? It looks kind of plain. So there we go. We have some decoration there. And then the other thing I really wanted to do was... Um, usually I have a spine on my journals or something, a little plaque or something, name plate uh, that says the year. So since I don't, I mean, I could write it down here, but I don't want to do that. I thought it would be cute to write it on this little tag that I had tucked into use in here for some reason. So I thought I would write 2022 with a red Sharpie. So 2022. So when I look at this journal, I'll remember what year it was from. And I thought I would just hang it or tie it. See, I've got a little baker's twine here. I made this, I don't know, maybe last year. I don't know when I made it. It wasn't this year, though. What am I doing here? One, two, three. I'm just trying to see how many stitches. Whether this was a three or five. It looks like a three, but very tight. 
Very good job I did on that. <laughs> it's very tight. Anyway, so I'm going to tie a, I'm going to tie this on here. Just slip it through the spine there, through the baker's twine on the, on the spine. I'm going to tie a knot at the top so it can hang loose. So I'm going to just tie this little knot here. A little fiddly, right? So let's get this tied. There we go. Pull it tight. Okay, and it can hang like this. Let's see, do I like that? Let's see how it hangs. Yeah, it hangs actually in the perfect spot. Right there, and it's decorated. This is a little... Uh, this is a printout, I think. I'm not sure what that is. It's not a real postage stamp, though. And I made a tag out of it. There, it says 2022. It can hang right there, and I put it on my shelf like this, and I can be like, what year was that for? Oh, yeah, 2022. Okay. <laughs> so, what do I have? Oh, let's see. I have, I have a couple things. I have this little tag and this little bow. So, and this little bow. I have three bows to put in. So, let's go back to where we were. Got a bow there. Let's put this little bow up here. Maybe, or over here. Let's put it over, it's just as this page needs something, so uh, let's put this here. I don't, uh, you know, if I needed to write on this or something, I would save it, but it, I don't need to write on it, so I'm just going to glue it down. Right here is a little decoration on this page, and I can even write about where it came from if I want to, I don't know if I will, and then... That would look cute there or down here. Let's put this down here. Another little bow from the chocolates. Okay, get that all glued down here. This corner, a little decoration. I've got a lot more of these little bows, so maybe when I take them off, I'll save them for next year because. I think they're really cute to stick in here or wherever. Now I've got glue on them. Let me get this off. I just want it on a piece of paper over there in my trash. <laughs> so, and then I have this little piece here, which I could put back right where it came from. Or I could put it up here. I think I'll put it right there where it actually what it was uh, when I opened that little. It was from the dip mix. It was a dip mix, chip dip mix. It was called Fiesta Dip. It's very good. He used the, the spices and things that were in the packet and mixed it with sour cream and mayonnaise. And uh, very, it wasn't spicy, even though it was called Fiesta. I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should add some tobacco, you know, some cayenne pepper or something in there because <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little spicy, but it wasn't. But it was good the way it was. Mild, very mild, I would say. Not spicy at all, but very creamy and good. So, well, that is not sticking down. Tool, this is tool, so I might have to let the the uh, I might have to let this glue dry a little bit, and then I'll stick it down, and it'll probably grab quicker. So I'm gonna lay that down for a second, let it dry. But uh, all I have extra is this envelope, this card, which is a very old card. I bought this at a kind of like a garage sale when I first moved here in 2000. So I've had it since 2000, <laughs> say. And now um, I, I think I kept one because I put a lot in my journals, the Christmas journals that I've made over the years. And I kept one for myself because I wanted to remember because I thought it was so cute. But, yeah. So that's that. Envelope, card, and the recipe card. So if I don't end up using these three pieces in here, I will keep them out for my whatever I want to use them for next year. So let's see. This is... Let's see if this is getting tacky yet. i got to put it down in a different way. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to grab. See, it's not falling off, so I'll let that dry. So basically, I uh, do a little writing about the Christmas Day in here and my, where my brother was. And then I have one, two, 
three surfaces left. Oh, I have one more picture. Oh, the phone. Oh, this is the family picture. Okay. Well, let's put that on its own page. I only have... I'll put it on the page with the chocolates. Okay, well, I need a background. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> nope, that's no good. Hold on, I need to grab... Let's see, I have a bunch of paper right here. I wonder if there's anything I can grab in here that looks the least bit Christmassy. Here's something red. Uh, here's a little journaling card. I could put and use that as a background. Yeah, that's cute. We're just going with it. I don't... I could pause and run and get something Christmassy, but my time is about up here anyway. So this is some, I pulled this from the papers I pulled from my project card that I need to use up and do something with. So here we go. I'm using a piece right now. <laughs> it's uh, cut from a, like a master board or something there, too. It's got all kind of scraps on it. And then I'll put this family picture on there, and I will come back with a flip through after my next journal with me. I'm going to put this on in some wacky way here. Let's see. Maybe not. I think it looks cute like that. Okay. Yeah. And that's the family picture. So really I only have two surfaces left. So I may yet find something to put there. Okay. We'll see. I'll let you know through my, my in my flip through. So I'll see you next time. Let me let that little pink bow dry. Dry and I uh, hope you enjoyed this collab. Don't forget to check out Susan. She always does some, something awesome and creative. And uh, stay tuned for our collab for January. You're going to love it. Let me be sure to subscribe if you're not so that you don't miss the announcement video, which I think is January 6th. It's the first Friday in January. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.